and we are live. Welcome, 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 everybody. Who did we get up in here? Got Wakey RC, homie Paul, welcome. RJ, my cougar. <laughs> Night train, what's up, brother? Ryan, how's it going? What did I miss you? Crystal, but. Who are you in here? Richard Coggins, welcome. Happy 29th, Crystal. 29 holding she is, huh? Oh. Yep, 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 yep. RJ, I dropped you a bunch of cakes there. That's why, I, well, I didn't have time to make it, but I still made a cake today. Just, I am so stuffed. I don't need Just a because cake. I've been wanting cake. Oh, imagine that. <laughs> so, how's everyone been doing? Sure, you got the winds and crazy weather. If you're anywhere, I guess on the. Well, I think it's all across the reverse tonight. Well, homie might not have them. Richard uh, asked Mike about that RSSI thing. He said, I don't know if you've done it yet. Um, Brain FPV, maybe reach out to them, their tech support, see what they could do for you. Mike looked it up. He said he can't find nothing as far as calibrating. And a couple other people I asked about it. Baduga, welcome, brother. Lewis. I did notice that, though, that um, RSSI just kept. I don't think it went higher than like 16, was it? Jerry Calvary, welcome. How you doing tonight? Eric, RC Crazy. Welcome, Chrissy. Still working hard over there, Lewis? Oh, in the house. What's up, brother? Thronography. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, we're running an uh, hour late tonight. But because of Crystal's birthday, we always go out and uh, eat somewhere on our uh, birthday, whichever one it is, Russell, mine, or Crystal. So I need a ranch. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. Right, try and plumb it. What's up, brother? That's not the one you had. Oh, gross. So what you been up to, O? Did you get your uh, center whoop done yet? I think that's the last thing you were working on that I know of. Center whoop. I finally got my uh. Where's it at? Oh, yeah, where's that tank somewhere? Else? There it is, back here. Tied it back here. I got the uh that TBS power cube in this. So this is a rare type of build. <laughs> it's a QQ190 frame with the TBS power cube with the Rotor X hood and some Racer Star 2205-2600. Um, there's a story behind the power cube and all, and I'm going to do a video and explain it all, what was going on with that and all, all that good stuff. And I'll, the whole, I'll talk everything about it, you know, the customer service, how it was, and everything. So, yeah, it's going to be a good video. But this is a beast. I run it on 5S. It's monster on 5S. And as you can see, if the hood wasn't kind of flat right here, you know what I mean? <laughs> you see that prop? And if the prop wasn't turned. Paul said that's pretty cursive. Isn't that pink? <laughs> pink, yeah. A can of spray uh, paint. We'll put it in paint for you. <laughs> Jim, welcome. I miss. Dun, 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 dun. But yeah, this thing's pretty fun. Uh, it's kind of so if you fly to three inches, the smaller micros, you kind of know when you fly them how they feel. Like uh, anyone's ever flown one, you'll know. So kind of like if you try to do a power loop, some of them fly like five inches, some of them fly just like a micro. 
So this one, when you try like power loop or something, I mean, it'll just flip and stop right there. Like it's it's just like dead stop in the air. But that's just because of the power and all what it's into. So I may leave it together like this. I may not. But that thing is. Oliver said five S three inch. That's sweet. I know, dude. Five S on this monster. I've been messing with five S, but yeah. But it's it's definitely fun to fly. I've been figuring out the uh, OSD and on. You got to do all that through your stick and whatnot through the power cube. And Mike, uh, yes, I'm gonna get this out to you. <laughs> Here, actually, Mike, you'll see it go to the shipping department. <laughs> I got you, Mike. Like I said, I was holding on to it before because I thought they might. They were looking like if there was something wrong with the power cube, they were gonna replace both of them. So. I gotta charge up some batteries. Actually, I'm supposed to fly with Ryan tomorrow if the weather lets us. Yeah, I know. Uh, when I went flying, Josh stuck these stickers on my hat. <laughs> HQ prop. I just left them on there. Yeah, Mike, that's gonna be good. To see you ripping that oblivion around, brother. Did you find out motors for it yet? Like, can you use uh just any old motor, or do you have to have special ones? Kagan, welcome. That's a nice thing you have. Oh, no. Where's it at? Chrissy, the wrench um, would come more as I know you. Caught me a trout. Oh, caught some trout today. What? Thank God it's Friday. I hear you. Yeah, like I was saying, Kagan, that's a nice little thing you got in your yard now. I remember uh, the rocks you had, but that's sweet. I'd be all I'd be all off that thing, picking up my truck like nine times because I'm be hard on the throttle. <laughs> We're off the side. I like how that one spot you got where you come across, and if you don't go across it the right way, it gets your wheels caught down in it. That's pretty cool. It's like a sniper spot. <laughs> Yeah, I'm FPV muscle he or muscle FPV. Listen to me, reading it backwards. I'm <laughs> I'm like lost today. We went out to eat, and uh, the lady said, "So what kind of uh, dip would you want with your uh, buffalo wings?" I said, "Oh, oh, blue ranch be fine." <laughs> She's like, "Blue ranch, you blue cheese?" I said, "Yeah, blue cheese." Drone worship, welcome. Three missed, two longers. Cool beans. So you having fun with your fishing? Bill two Metro drones. Welcome, brother. What else did I miss here? Let me catch up. Oh, you can put some steel motors in there. Cool beans. You have some, or you gotta get some. Baduga. Baduga's working, boys. Down there's, I don't know. It sounded to me like on uh, the uh, messenger. <laughs> he was taping somebody up. <laughs> We're like, Lewis, are you taping somebody up there or something? He's working on some rims. <laughs> Tablet face. <laughs> Hi, Dan. He said, Tablet face, what you doing? Fish and junk. Welcome. I'm doing what I'm always doing. Had a blast. Do That's cool, yeah. Fishing. I, I enjoyed fishing one time. Then I got to where one time I didn't have license. I kind of got caught with a bunch of fish. It cost me a lot of money. <laughs> it's like, no, more. But it's still fun to fish. Good troll. What's up? <laughs> Good troll FPV RCs. Sweet. I know, right? Oh, it is sometimes. But that's the whole patience part about it, I guess. Sitting there waiting, 
waiting and waiting and choo, woof, then get her on in. And man, you, it'll give you the biggest fight and it's come in as this little tiny fish. <laughs> Chris Riley, welcome, brother. <laughs> Are you ready, good troll? I am the puppet master. What? It's your birthday. Birdman, what's up, Mike? How you doing, brother? Yeah, Chris, she was trying to figure that thing out today. I told her she's wanna she's gonna wanna I've done lots of videos. I can do it better at home than I can when I'm out trying to do something that I wanted to do. But I'll get it. Hey Chris, if you uh if you check your PayPal, uh that the rest of that's just in your PayPal. The whole uh rest of it. Appreciate you. She she enjoys it, man. She loves it. Okay, bet. Glad to be finally me twenty. I don't know. You say she's twenty, and RJ said she's almost a cougar. So <laughs> he texted me that we were eating dinner. I about pissed myself laughing. Ed, love my drones. Empire, welcome, brother. How you doing? <laughs> Ed, then you ask, um, Neil won't be returning to the drone network. He's going to do a video, and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep it going. Um, nothing, no drama or nothing, just just isn't feeling it. A um, lot going on he's got, you know, right now. So, yep, this is where it's at. It's going to be on my channel from now, me and Crystal. And I'm gonna get Jim's schedule. Uh, see how that fits in. But yep, we're the drone network. Better go take that girl to dinner. Oh, we done. All oh, taken care of, vampire. All day today. That's why we were late for the show. I didn't to fly today. The show back to eight. No, he didn't. He has not touched a drone today. See? You know I'm not feeling good. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, I oh, appreciate you, brother. Woo, Jim says. Ooh, hey, hey. Uh, didn't miss anybody else. You said code. Is that the line here? Code six. Code six. I thought I saw his name. Code six. Welcome. I'm just not seeing your name up on my chat. He's a ghost. That or I'm blind. I'm I'm seriously looking for him now. <laughs> Am I that blind? Yeah. What's it up further? Okay, I got you way up there. Okay. All right, he's way up there, man. He was. <laughs> welcome, welcome. You need glasses and everything else. I thought it was. Me getting the older. Oh, wait, I'm no, sorry you're older about, than I am anyway, so it's okay. Anyone new that's coming around, I appreciate you. And no, everyone will tell you I get blind at the chat. Like I'm like, <laughs> a lot of it's this light right here in my face. It gets you Happy morning. Happy birthday, day. Mars True. from the Drone Network. Mars, welcome, brother. Twerk it, twerk. True Drone reviews in the house. OG, welcome. Going to watch Glass. Hope it's good. Cool. Enjoy it, brother. Roadkill in the house. Butch, welcome, brother. He definitely get him a wrench. Uh, but stop moving. I appreciate you guys with the chat. I can't keep up. Uh, and how do you think I'm doing all this? It's just like, chick, 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 chick. I'm trying to grab it. It's like, no. Afro, welcome, Afro. Afro FPV. Welcome, brother. Appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, you're welcome, Chris. She sent some cards out. She sat back and uh. Homie Paul got his. Cool. It was his first ever. Adam got his today. Nice. Chris Riley got his. Cool beans, all in time. 
I always grab this mouse trying to move this one. I know. I was doing that on Wednesday. It was driving me crazy. Let me get that out of there so I, don't, so I stop doing it. Oliver got his last week. So cool. Some got theirs earlier. Some got theirs later. So how you been, Butch? Still flying, man? Mars, that's awesome. GoPro 7, brother. Woo! Actually, talking about that, Richard, Um, I did print them. I'm brain dead. The only thing I think, and I'm, I don't know if anything can be done. You Maybe we can. Today. I'm way off today. You see how, like, this is here? Like, if we could bring this around down a little further maybe you know me change the angle of it and i'll show you why i could use it like this like i could come up with something to, to put here if not but uh if you put it down on there like it's supposed to be then it the props hit i was like no but if you raise it up just a little bit change the angle of it it's perfect i don't know if he's still in here he might be busy mike cracks bottom hey. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah, man, going back to hauling cattle. Oh, are you going back to hauling cattle? Well, that's cool. That's something you said you always enjoy doing. And have you given any more thoughts to an all day, all weather? Yeah, actually, Code 6, you were the one that told me. Uh, remember that time I ended it? You did say something. Actually, I did. I remember that now. Um, let's find it. Here it is. <laughs> it's, 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 I That's like, getting sad. It is getting sad. I, I got to go down the wall and find it. Um, This guy here is C-formal coded. Um. I think that's still out my bag when I went to the track Sunday. But anyway, this uh, I have a video of me plugging this in, GoPro and everything in it, and dropping it right in a bucket of water and pulling back out. Everything was still plugged in. Everything has been C formal coded. The camera, um, you got to be careful doing your cameras, guys. You won't, you don't want to get that on your sensor. Trust me. So what I do is I do the boards real easy around the center, and then I, when I put the camera back together, I do around the lens there and around the back. The board, flight controller completely done. Um, all the ESCs are done. It's kind of dirty. It looks like that night train fella took her for a flight. But look, Mike's like, what? Chris got a dirty drone on his wall. I'm, am I seeing what I'm seeing? But yes, to answer your question, you see how shiny it is? I did the frame and everything completely, completely. I could go out right now in the pouring down rain and fly this with no problem. Yep. And if you uh, need help, um, no problem. I got a video where I show you a, a little quick tutorial on uh, C formal coding. But yeah, buy it off of Amazon. I think it's um, Amazon Prime. You get it for about 12 bucks. If you're not Amazon Prime, about 20. That sucks, but anyway, that's <laughs> Amazon. Um, eBay, I think you pick it up for around, I think it was 10 bucks, 10, 10 to 12 bucks, I think it was. So really good stuff to do. And like I said, and you got it out flying in the weather too. Remember your camera lens. So you're going to get water droplets on your camera lens. Think of like looking through a water globe. That's kind of the effect you get once it like a drop hits it. It's kind of like, whoa, all of a sudden. Sometimes I'll just do a roll and kind of go like this and see if I can't get it to come off. But a little bit of wax or rain X on your camera lens and you're golden. And then don't forget your GoPro also. You want to put something on that to keep it from watering up because then it'll be like looking through like fish eye or something. <laughs> but yeah, well worth doing it. And your motors are already waterproof if you guys don't know that. I remember Josh, he's messing with me and Eric. He's like, no, I take my bell off and I put the sea formal coating all down in there. I, Look, I stopped for a minute. I'm like, 
damn, man, I thought they were already waterproof. I'm like, well, maybe extra protection. He's like, don't take your belts off and do that. He was trolling us. Anybody else jump in on this? Gotta grab a plate. All right, Butch, love you all, homo. Enjoy your meal, brother. <laughs> but yeah, it's good to have one now. And, I, and I've had a couple that would fly in the rain. This guy here, I took out to the park one day. He said no. <laughs> I took this out to the park one day. I was out flying it around in the pouring down rain. So I got a couple of them that run in the rain. That one I was flying that day, code six. It's just that one. That one couldn't fly in the rain. I had to get that. In. And actually, it was this one before I did see formal COVID. I got stuff all over the place. I'm working on a, uh, doing another E-Hang ghost drone. Doing the mod for it. Remember how I did mine and I got mine dipped by uh, Honey Lulu? This is another one. Going for a guy. Uh, Brown Bomber is his name on YouTube. That name's actually Fred. Brown bomber or brown pants? The brown pants or brown bomber? I don't know. There's two of them. That's why I asked. I may be wrong. Maybe it is brown pants. You might be right. <laughs> Kaz, welcome. Ms. Kaz. Yes, ma'am. I got spoiled. I got spoiled really well this year. My eyes are going funny. Need glasses. You and me, both on me. If it wasn't for these uh, cheater glasses I use, boy, I'd be in trouble soldering. Richard wants you to show that mount again. He uh, said you needed, you need that mount moved further back and or up. Um, yes. So I'll show it like this one real quick. Um, so let me actually see something that would probably work like that if I come think of it. No. Okay. So yeah. So just the this part, just kind of think of it coming around you know more um so now on here let me show you if i can get the prop out of the way for you so right here is how it sets normal like you know i could put the screws in it everything but then it hits see where it hits so i can raise it up to i guess just about there would be a fair angle about 30 and then it it misses it, you see. But I wonder, do you think uh, the prop would flex up and hit it? So maybe a little bit up further. Because it's got, um, you figure the GoPro 7, and this is the 5 that's in there, the 5 black. But you figure they got super view, so it should do good. So, yeah, roughly like that, if you can see in there. Um. Uh, I'm trying to think here. How can make this easier on you? <laughs> See that that mounts just straight down, so that just sets right on here. I'm trying to think like if they would have, you know, they might have a. Uh, no, I guess the GoPro Seven it wouldn't make a difference if that's got a different angle, huh? But this is being done, guys. Um, Richard has amazingly taken this thing and putting it on the bottom of a GoPro 7 mount. Um, I'm getting this done for uh, Two Witch FPV. He has a Immersion 230 Mojo. Just hangs on his wall. He's going to go ahead and get rid of it. So I told him, I said, um, I was talking to him, me and him talking back and forth. And then one day Richard, he come in and Richard was like, hey, I could help you do that. And so I sent Richard the plans and he went ahead and made this um, beautiful. I mean, epic. Like you see how it turned out, Richard. And TPU, I mean, beautiful. Supports and all. So this is what was on the inside of it. But the supports pulls right off and I have no problem you know, call it wasting because you pretty much it's just supports, but it's worth it because the turnout with something like that. So I printed two of them. Um, they're probably like a 
13, 14 hour print, but I ran two of them. So yeah, we could just somehow get that, I guess, drop down further. That would be epic to where it get it. Um, I was trying to think a better way I could help you out with that. But yeah, it's beautiful and the TPU, I mean it's worked out perfect. You did an epic job on that. That's why I was Mars, I don't know if you saw my uh, message. I said if you need anything for that GoPro seven, let me know. I'll print you out a mount. They have a ton of stuff for the GoPro seven on Thingiverse. <laughs> Let me catch up on chat here, guys. Oh, Lord. They're asking if Mars got a new pole or a new mate's outfit. Chris, uh, to answer your question. I answered that. Okay. You printed them, and I told Chris that you would print him some. Sure, I can get you so, some. Not a problem. <laughs> I was just going to fill you in on that. All right. I'm Chat's just, been strolling, so. I know. It's awesome. You guys are all. You know, fans said I can nice. drop it, Chris, and add to the front to increase the angle, but I think it might cause jello. Okay, see, so add to the front. I got you. I don't know. Uh, well, maybe if you, if you did like um, kind of yeah, like you said, how you did to the front and the back. I think it would. It it probably won't create no jello. Look how thick that is for how I did the wall thickness. It doesn't even move. Like right now, I can't even get that front to move. Look at that. <laughs> this thing is solid and and I, I did it that way because i wanted to usually when i make the mount some um, like for instance to give you an example i crashed the rooster uh yesterday the clone rooster and um it threw the session out because i didn't want that with this like that's the session cost enough but <laughs> when you're talking a gopro 7 you definitely want a secure mount and i mean you can take that and just you are not going to shake it out of there. I mean, it's, it is in there. So that's a good thing. And that's what I wanted because I didn't want, you know, him bounce off the ground or something and pew, eject the camera. My heart went from here to here yesterday. When I looked down, I was like, no, I lost the session. <laughs> All right, I'll check that, Mars. Ray, well, welcome, 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 brother. <laughs> And if anything, Richard, I'm thinking maybe if it causes jello, it could probably just squeeze something here, like some uh uh what is it called? The drummers use it. Um uh, moon gel. Moon gel. Moon gel. Could probably put some of that in there if if it's a problem. But it looks pretty cool on there. I mean it, it does really look good on there. And I probably will fly mine with it on there, thanks to OG True Drone Reviews. I still got it, Brian. It didn't update it or nothing. <laughs> I told Crystal, I said, well, that's what the insurance is for if it something happens, right? Then I thought, I said, shit, no, you can't do that because then they'll just go to the 2018 and it won't be flashed with the five black. I said, that would suck. <laughs> Happy early anniversary to Kaz and Mars. Their anniversary is tomorrow. Oh, yes. Happy anniversary. Bill, newfound drone productions. Welcome, welcome. Okay, Richard, I will. I'll do that. I'll do it after the show. I'll set it up and figure out the angle and then do the measurement. I have something in millimeters to measure that. <laughs> Surprise, Crystal, and say, Wayman's not Wayne'sby. I'm being hate for once. Yeah, Chris, that's what he's going to do. He's going to make this further back. That way the prop don't strike. Really appreciate you, Richard. No dancing. I'm just done punching the dude in the paint. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, Lord. No wonder Mars is starting around in that maze. Mike, I have him somewhere. Like, it's been five years. 
And when I put all, like, messed with the desk, I lost them. I don't know what happened to them. The uh, calibers. I did vampire. I flown um yesterday. I went out with the floss. I finally got that floss to where it wasn't uh. When I was flying, it was like, listen, this is gonna be funny. Mars gonna like this. When I was flying, it was twerking. So um Sunday at the multi GP track, I noticed when I was chasing the wing at first everything was good. You know, I'm chasing it around. Then next thing you know, the drone just started like going like. I'm like, what the heck is that? So I bring it near me, and I hear it going. It, it, it makes like a, you guys ever, I'm sure you had your motors twerk before. They're kind of like a yink, 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 yink. So that's what it was making. And at the time, the drone would just go, like it's got Tourette's or something. I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> trying to, because look, to chase a wing is good, is hard anyway, right? So to try to be like on it, and the drone's got like, it's like, God dang, hold still. <laughs> Yes, normally I do fly during the week. Every pretty much every day I get a chance, I do uh, fly. I'll burn. Um, I'd like to burn at least three to five packs every day, but I don't get to go out there every day and do it. Like like I said yesterday, I went out and burnt. I think like eight packs, and it was between. Uh, Four drones out there, I think. No, three. I had the rooster, the floss, and the the little chevette with the big block under hood. This guy. And this guy did good in the wind. Of course, 5S. I mean, you would expect it to. Of course, he cut some grass, so it's kind of a little dirty there. <laughs> All right, what Bill say? Chris, I bought a spark. Oh, Bill, that was awesome. A fly more package too. Sweet. Drone Worship's looking for somebody uh, who's willing to volunteer to give him spankings. Kaz, you up to that? Uh, maybe Mars is. But you got to use that cat of nine tails. Okay, yes, yeah, because you're off Monday and Tuesday and Monday Wednesday and Wednesday. next week. Um, what do I got going on next week? Okay. That sounds good. We should be able to get together if you want one of those days. That sounds good to me. Would be awesome. Chris Riley wants to know how do you keep your prop nuts from working loose in a crash? Chris, I just tighten the shit out of them. <laughs> I know what you mean. When you hit, when you hit, you kind of just take that one hit and they bust themselves loose and it kind of makes that like screechy kind of sound. Yeah, I've I don't know. Um, just tighten them down. About as tight as you can get them. I noticed uh Ryan, he when he tightens his down, he'll just give it like a little snug. And um I was even asking him, well, he was hitting the gates that day and breaking it loose uh too. But Eric does the same thing. Um I just forcefully tighten the thing down. Maybe that's how I broke a couple of motor shafts. <laughs> but that's all you basically can do, I think. Um, because you don't want to put no kind of lock tight or nothing on them because you're bound to break a prop and then it's gonna be hell to get back off. They do have um, slim locking nuts that you can get from like um, Amazon, like iFlight makes them. Uh, Pyro Flip has a whole whole bunch of different colored ones and stuff like that. You can get them, like I said, they're better. Like this here, if you see that prop nut goes down on there, you know, pretty good. So it locks in pretty good. Then I found some some of the motors just had real smooth around the bell, and it kind of gives that prop that twist. They all screw in the same direction. Yeah, so probably trying to find the same thread, like a slim lock nut, that would probably cure that up for you. Bob Biker, welcome, brother. Yeah, yeah, bring the trolls to spank me. I need a good spank. Three way for wins. <laughs> oh, he's retarded. So, did you and uh, uh, E Drone have a good time, Dan? E Drone didn't scare you too bad, did he? <laughs> 
everybody is reversed. Yeah, I know, right? If they come up, uh, basically how mine will come, but a lot of mine are the same direction. And that's what I noticed. Um, If you kind of have those, uh, they come like on the Racer Star motors. Those like silver uh, prop nuts, those things, they suck because they're real, real tall. So by the time you go cranking them down, they really don't bite on much of the thread. So that's the only solution I found was that going that slim way with the lock nut. So what you up to, Ray? You flying anything? I know your field, they shut you down in the field, but do you have like anywhere else you could fly? Sucks you can't fly, man. Like, no, I need to fly. <laughs> I'd just go hide in a corner if they told me I couldn't fly, and I would be flying, but they wouldn't see me. <laughs> I have to uh, break that down. I have to get you my um. Are you on um Messenger uh Vampire? He's in Discord. In Discord, okay. Discord will work. I have to remember to check that. Um, just hit me up whatever day is good for you. I'm usually pretty much. Available whenever. It would definitely be nice to get together and rip some packs. Hopefully, I don't scare you too bad. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm not reckless no more. No more. <laughs> not as much. Let's not say no more. <laughs> you said, yeah, I don't do Facebook's Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people. I never did Facebook mm -hmm. neither until I got more into the drones. Um. I'm not like the guy that's on there has got like 50,000 followers. I have a few of my family members in Baltimore. I could just wipe them off. I don't even care. Mainly you guys I keep up with. Uh, Messenger is cool. Um, I don't know if you can keep Messenger without Facebook because me and Clay was talking the other night. And, uh, he's like, yeah, I took care of my, my Facebook, but I kept Messenger. And then it just. So I think you have to have Messenger or Facebook to keep Messenger. I don't know. Alvin, Chipmunk FPB, what's up, brother? <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot that doesn't do Facebook. I'm like, you're on Facebook, they're like, no. Like, wow, Facebook I remember sucks. when you were on Facebook. I wasn't. I remember when you quit Facebook numerous times. Yeah, because, I don't know, it's like, you get a lot of your family members, then your friends that you grew up with and then they got 10,000 friends and then they got 10,000 friends and then they got 10,000 friends. It's like, you cannot keep track of all the people. I'm sorry. It's a lot to keep track of. Richard dropped Facebook. Y'all some Facebook haters. <laughs> nah, to each your own. Like, um, like I said, I probably wouldn't even be dealing with it. Neither. It wasn't for like keeping in touch with people. And as you can see, the ones that do Facebook, you noticed I don't do much on there at all. Very few. I have to do a little bit. Jim actually, uh, the build page that I had, he or I guess we still have it. I don't know. I told him to take down, but it might still be there, might not. But still, he he did everything for that for me. It was Facebook. I don't know. I get kind of lost on there. I could figure it out if I put my mind to it, and wanted to do it. But I think that's the part. He's like, nah, because doing a video on there, I thought like, okay, it's like YouTube. You upload it. Now you got to copy paste it. It's like, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Eric's a lot of ex-girlfriends trying to keep tabs on me. No, that's I don't have that to worry out. about. Tip's gonna get a hold of that. Right. Brian says, "How's the lizards?" And Facebook, I know, like if you want to get like um recognized, and as far as like uh with the companies that are out there to do reviews and stuff like that, that is your goal. Facebook, they want people that have people because your friends think about it. Even if you don't keep on a talkative base with them, they still see everything you post, everything you share. So then they're like, Oh, what? Oh yeah, man, that's cool. So then they buy it or they share it or something, whatever. And then, so that's what they're looking for now. And that's what I'm not looking for. I'm just, I just want to share my knowledge, help people. And, to review things well it'll be cool but there's no need to start a whole new thing over it the ones you guys that do it you guys already do it we don't need 
Get right on in to do it. Exactly, Mars. Exactly. The being on Messenger and like talking to you, Kaz and Lewis and just around the world, homie and stuff like that. Yes, that is awesome to be able to do that. And you can just call like you will just ring the right and cost nothing. Because if you do that on a telephone, whew, almost the killer time. <laughs> Man, 8.39 on a Friday night, and it's almost? Tequila time is 9 o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. 9 o'clock. My bad. Yeah, Crystal had one at lunchtime. Oh, Hangouts does that, too? Cool. Yes, it is. <laughs> He's a smart girl. <laughs> yeah, she was sitting there. She drank that way at Ruby Tuesdays. It was, it was roughly what one thirty, probably. She's sitting there. She starts. She gets to the end of that thing, and she's sitting there. All of a sudden, she's like, <laughs> I'm "Like, what's the matter? You feeling that drink?" Nah. I was like, "Yeah, I'm you are." Today. I've been up all day. I had to work at half today. Oh, it half though. So you're used to, you're used to it. Speaking of which, Kaz is calling me now. <laughs> Kaz, on, I can't talk while I'm doing the show. Oh, yeah, I get that number one. Huh? I thought it was mine ringing at first. Was that a plane or a card crystal? <laughs> Probably a uh, court, that thing, wasn't it? What? What'd you have to drink? It was you, the glass. Oh, I don't know. It was at the. It's the Ruby Relaxer that's normally like this size, except this was oh, the large, the which was like this size. And I hadn't eaten anything before I started drinking that, so you know how that went. <laughs> I hear you, Bill. It's going to be 420 here in two hours. Fast food shop's going to do good tonight. <laughs> then you start flying that mobile around your house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang, you watched your, uh, whoa, action, Bob, action. Just watched one neighbor punch another neighbor in the jaw. Pretty sweet. <laughs> Bob's like, ain't no need to get in the middle of that. <laughs> He's not, or Eric Tiff will choke him out. Tiff's yeah, ex-girlfriends. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Seven Mars. I checked your message, Mars. I got you on that. I can handle that. At least seven PM last night. He was probably going hard at it though. Better let's get it. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna fly to. Well, I say definitely fly tomorrow. We're going. We're planning to fly tomorrow. Uh, I got charged packs tonight too, just in case. But if the rain and uh, weather don't allow us to, I'm going to go still go grab Ryan and then we're going to work on his transmitter and then do some work to his drones. I got some motors I got to put on for him, put in some hall gimbals and his Tyrannus. But it's probably, they say early in the morning it's going to move out. If it, if it does, it's cool because we're going to set up some race gates and all out in the field. But Sunday's probably looking better, but he they go back Sunday, so. Yep, we got a big old hand. We're gonna cook Sunday. Pickled eggs. About the only thing I can do pickle anymore. <laughs> Pickles don't like me. I bet it don't happen often. He said Jack Daniel's fault. <laughs> 
get my first bite. <laughs> oh, you ain't tried them out yet, man. Oh. I like the 5S. Um, like I said, I got those 2750s that are run on it. I thought that'd be like kind of retarded, maybe, but it's not. I get. I was over there flying. I bet you I flew almost seven minutes with that bad boy because I'll fly it all the way down to 17.5. Crazy power. One time, though, I I was probably at like. 18.6. I want to go up over the tree. I just wide open throttled it. Look, that bad boy went down like 17.2 and it wasn't coming back up quickly. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot high KBs for 5S. But it, it works well with the HQ props, you know, because you get, uh, well, these ain't HQs. Let me, let me not show them. So because the HQ would give some flex. So like on wide open throttle, you ever had like Josh explained to me, you ever had like the it does make like a weird sound, like a flutter sound. But other than that, that's only like wide open and I don't do that often. I just did that to try it. And so it works well. Really well. I'm surprised. HQ props rock. Yeah, yeah. Chris knows. Look, Josh knows he put the sticker on my hat. I don't know what that other sticker is he put on my hat. If anyone knows what that is, I don't. <laughs> I just like the HQs. I don't know. And I fly different ones. Um, These are Gem <laughs> Fan Wind Dancers. Whoa, whoa. John just said HQ props are awesome. RC Fun. What's up? <laughs> but yeah so i tr i went out one day and i put stiffer props on it vampire mm -mm. it the stiffer props with the high kv battery gone that quick now let me tell you something <laughs> that first punch out like holy shoot i'm on gene golden showers yeah Kaz said if mars didn't move last night she was gonna pee on him uh oh well, she found him sitting next to the toilet, thanks to Jack Daniels. Chris, that sounds like I know he is, uh, John. He fell in love with my Hall Gimbals. I mean, he just went nuts over them. And then he's going to start the acro game, so we'll see how much he likes them. He said, hey, I'm learning over here. John is learning. He's definitely learning, doing a good job. He's on his third stack now on Sanford. <laughs> he doesn't give up, though. I give him that much. I said, man, throw that thing in a box and just mail it to me. I'll get it right for you. And he's like, nope, I'm going to keep doing this. I got one more shot. Like, okay. Yeah, and that's what I basically run, the HQ 4.3s. That's all I basically run, too. I've tried different ones. Um, that's why I say when I joke around, I say Dow sucks. Dow's I will actually go back to. Kind of like got some, and I'll go use them kind of like when it's real cold out because the HQs do get kind of more brittle, they seem to be. Um, other than that, in the wintertime, I, I run all HQs, and I still run the HQs. It's just if I want to go stupid playing around the trees and whatnot. I got a whole bunch of uh, the Dow with a T5046 hanging up there. It's like, I don't know, seven, eight bags of them. I'm just going to give them to Joe when he comes to pick his frog up. He's going to be like, here, bro. He's new into it. He won't know no difference. <laughs> I say that like in a bad way, right? <laughs> Early shit. Eight bags of problem, bro. I'm down with it. Chuck it. FPV. Welcome, brother. Got a bunch of quad box props. Yeah, you're probably like me. So when I was doing the drone drop, Dude, props for days. Just every every one you got three packs of props. Now, given the fact that I probably killed about nine hundred props before I ever learned how to fly, but <laughs> I've got there with my drone. I don't care if the prop could be just bent up. I'm flying it. I didn't care as long as it wasn't hitting nothing and clacking. I ain't give shit. <laughs> Sweet. I got to check your channel out, Mars. I definitely have to. I got to check a lot of people's channels out. I'm getting back on to the click of it. So, 
I will make my way around. Just got a lot going on. Had to change things around, move this, move that here, move that, move that here. Not physically, mentally. So that was a lot. Dang, 900 props. <laughs> I'm so low. Yeah, Bob used to have props for days for that solo, and they started. He had a he had a technique of every time he land, he would come in and land on the props. I don't know what made him do that, but my solo actually lit, did it one day. <laughs> Mine was due to water though. Moisture. Down bro, makes me better. Try one set of HQ five by five. Did you this if you learned already, Chris? I have uh Chris, I got I got five by fives and I have fifty ones. Five point one five they're they're nice. Them things you gotta watch them, they'll clack on some frames. Me and Josh at the track one day, he goes, Here, try some of these. He's like, They're fifty one, they're they're the, the Dow or not the Dow, the HQ five point one, I think it was five point one, five point one by three or something. He put some on his quad. Actually, it was the floss, I think, right? You remember back in the day when uh, you put the card into your uh, spoke and it click, 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 click? That's what it sounded like on his frame. And he just flew around and just let it, I mean, click until it stopped. He probably made about three quarters way around the track and it shut itself up. <laughs> but they are nice. They are battery eaters, too. I noticed I get less time with them. I guess because of the pitch. Backwards gaps hurt props. Yeah, backwards gaps hurt props. But yeah, you're going to break some props for sure. Still driving, Chuck? Awesome. Stay, keep your eyes on that road. Just listen as you're doing. <laughs> Pool noodle gate there in the kitchen. Yeah, pool noodle gates. No doubt. I got pool noodles in the uh, back of Crystal's car I was going to use, and then Ryan come down. He's just like, well, you can just keep them race gates in the back of your car and keep holding them and use them for now. I'm like, oh, you're awesome, bro. John, this is a vampire. He is in Newcastle, Delaware. I'm actually going to meet up with him. One day next week and fly. Good people. He does the killer time at nine. <laughs> John's like, yeah, he's definitely good. <laughs> yeah, Ed said my four ones hurt me. Yeah, you do take Batman for a ride. That's for sure. I thought Batman could actually fly, but. <laughs> Not when the lunatic's in control of him. <laughs> He uh he always shows us in a, he he's in our group also in the messenger. He he shows us his quad and he's got it setting on uh ten full, and uh we always bust his balls about it. We're always like, hey ten full laying around Ed. <laughs> he said, do it for solder and it's like a blanket. That <laughs> race skates can kill a whoop. Oh, any race skates kill you whoop. I have um some they're just like. Stand up ones. They're no light up or anything. The blade, the blade theory, I think, or uh, they're just the blade, whatever. We're back down the corner. Yes, table legs and shell. Exactly. Gates are fun, but more or less what you got around your house already is fun too. That's what I was doing. I was taking the um mobula and trying to go up and power loop the table, our little table in the middle. That's how it broke the frame like a million times. Not getting back over because it would come over so fast. That's cool. Yeah, that, that one thing that you used to go to, Mars, if you're still going to that spot, that was nice where they set all them uh, gates up. One where you were blowing the smoke through that time. Yeah, homie, like the card in the spoke. That's exactly what his uh, they would sound like when he put them on his quad. And then just imagine, you know, on the, the how these things rear up, you know, with the throttle and how that sound. 
it was like he's like, oh, it'd be fine. It'll just go in a little bit, just where it tips off them props. And it did and shut right up. And he, <laughs> seven HD has that brain. Yes, I do, Mike. I have um the V three frame. Uh, it was hanging up there somewhere. It's up there somewhere. Yes, I have it for the Mobula. Might be hanging up here somewhere. I just had it the other day showing it to somebody. Um, and that's the same frame as what they run on the uh, Beta 75X. I noticed that. If you guys have the trash can or, I mean, uh, Mobula and you want a good frame, either get the V3 or get that um, Beta 75X frame. That thing is tough as nails. I power loop that straight into the ground. Wide open throttle. 2S whoop, it bounced. It didn't even crack the frame. The Mobula, it just cracks it. <laughs> it's all right. oh, cool beans. Night, Chris. Have a good one, brother. Keep that marmot flying. <laughs> do, 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 do. But hopefully the weather isn't too crazy tomorrow. They say in the morning it's going to, uh, what's you find on you? Find a bug on your head? No. What? Okay. Oh, I thought you, you want like this and pull something out your hair. I thought you found a tick. Sand. Like the whole back of my hair is sand. Because of that sand, it was blasted Because I got sand blasted on the beach. Dover for me is about 45 minutes. No, vampire, it looks like a choker, doesn't it? I got her hooked, man. I got her on that choker. Well, I mean, RJ's was saying Chris has got a cougar coming up behind wow. him. So. But no, it's actually part of the dress. It goes all the way across <laughs> here, and then it has the opening here. It's a shot collar. <laughs> yeah. There is no zap zap. Sorry. <laughs> oh, so it is 45 minutes from where you're at to Dover? Well, that sounds fair, then. It sounds like the middle meeting spot. Do you have any places in Dover that you know of there, though? I mean, we can rip down the highway and chase cars, bro. I played a GTA, uh simulator all day <laughs> something like that okay you don't all right um well, we'll, well oh shit well wait a minute if, during the week yo the colleges are normally open we'll find somewheres to get into we'll find something to get into the police may be involved they do every time i go flying so no well, that's only if josh is around yeah josh is, won't be josh won't be there yeah so maybe not Yeah, I'm hoping so, Richard. Um, like I said, it's nothing uh, bad, uh, you know, between us. It's just that his time and stuff like that working and, you know, just he can't do it no more. So I understand that. I hate to hold someone back in the first place, you know. I get that. And it does get crunchy for us at times. It's like, hurry up and do this. You know, like tonight we come home at uh, – 7.30, 7.40, yeah, somewhere around there, and it's just like, all right, set there for three minutes, you know, then, bam, get into it. But that's just what we like to do, and Neil is the guy that doesn't open up to a lot of people, and he opened up and gave his time to me, and I appreciate that, you know, oh, and we started a good thing here, which still is a good thing. Like I said, he's welcome here anytime. He could just text me right now and go, shoot me a link. I'm coming on. I shoot him a link. Ain't no problem. But he said he was going to do a video. And like I said, uh, no hard feelings. Nope. Those two are still tight. So we talk like every day at lunch. <laughs> well, not here lately because he's been so uh, on that blackout or whatever that's called. Is it Del Shut Tech? Down. Del Tech. Uh, Later, Ray. Ain't Del Tech where my brother went crazy? No, that was uh, high school. From what uh, Joe, Josh, and I are. Yeah, oh, Joe Josh and I were talking about. Joe. No. It's a high school. Okay. So 
Um, Enjoy that sub, babe. Give Ruth Ann a big hug from us. Appreciate you, Ray. Thanks for hanging out, brother. Like I said, nice seeing you back at it. Hopefully, find you a nice flying spot. But um, yeah, we'll find something, uh, vampire. Uh, that's the one with the gazebo, right? The one you're talking about. JD Quad, welcome, brother. I hugged Crystal and I act like I was JD for you. <laughs> Find me, Crystal. Chris. Honey, I'm a one of a kind. I broke the mold. I promise you that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll find some place. Like I said, we, some just during the week you got to watch the campuses because they're usually out. You know, and about, and it's active. But um, I think we could probably find a little spot off somewhere uh, the campus that they won't mind. All right, Afro, I appreciate you hanging out, brother. Be good. Keep that bird flying. Mouse. <laughs> What's his mouse? Ah, you tripping tonight. <laughs> See, she tried to get me tonight. She said, that says moose. I was like, no, that says mouse. No, homie, Paul, I don't have the mold. Exactly, Mars. Life pulls you in different it. directions. You know how they say, you know, like a chip off the old block, man. Mm -hmm. And it's nope. a, uh, I One mean. One of a kind. All that Rusty is a mini-me. He's just taller in a male version. Yeah, you. Even on the phone, they sound like and a lot of people that's ever called here. We used to have our house phone. We do all cell phones now. They, they'd be like, I thought I was talking to Crystal. Like, Russell's like, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, we did 100 and, say, 50 shows because, like, 149 shows. So, i tell you what, it does burn you out. But you guys know me. It, I'm passionate. So, I'm, I'm going to be here running it as much as I can. Uh, then we got some different things. Uh, that we got in mind and stuff like that. There'll be an update coming out, you know, for it for sure. Uh, probably going to do maybe a time change and some things. So we'll let you guys know for sure. Yeah, and look, you guys feel free to go over to his channel and. Stay oh yeah, in like touch. he said, you know, he's putting out he'll have some different content. Right. Make sure you still definitely support our brother. Exactly. He'll pop in here any old time, so you never know. You might see him on live stream stream. You might see him in chat. It's coming up, Mike. We're we're just running a little behind tonight because uh we went out for dinner. So we started it out uh nine or at nine, listen to me. We started at eight o'clock instead of seven. It's just nine now. Come on now. But I did honestly, um, I gotta be honest, when this is this isn't like we've had this talk before, me and Neil, and I gotta be honest, I kinda probably I not pressured, but just kinda like, you know, I got like upset about it, I guess, because I kinda thought that the drone network was what we had, but it's not. We do have a friendship beyond the drone network, which is good. But the um it was I was like, well, it's kind of slowing down anyway, kind of just could let it die off, I guess, but I can't let that happen. It's something that we've been here putting a lot of work into for 153 shows now. So I look forward to another 153 and we're going to keep going. And like I said, just adding different things to it. And like I said, the time change and stuff like that, you guys will understand. It'll make much more sense about it and whatnot. Just different times, different things. Um, I do a lot during the summertime as far as going places and flying and meeting up and just doing different things. Drone Man Productions, Joe, welcome. What are you up to, brother? <laughs> Wakey, old drooner never died. He just fell that way. Last drop. Welcome. There's a trick for a group of us. 
Exactly, Richard. And that's one thing that I will always bring. I will always bring. And you guys know, I just want to help. That's all this is basically about. Like the friendship and the family that we've built between us is amazing. I never, ever thought this. I never thought like just how we associate. But then think about um, I do it like with Josh, Edron, Joe. We are real. When we, we got our, we're together flying. Man, it's just like four brothers standing there, you know, and that's what it is. It's a family that we've created. And to go fly places like we did that weekend just to get away and all that's epic. I mean, that is so cool. People's like, what do you got to fly in these drones? It's like, well, for one, the pure love of the hobby, the enjoyment of flying. But then let's explain to people like what goes on behind the drones without the drone flying. Man, they're just like, wow, really? Like, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, it's beautiful. And that's what that's what it was all meant to be. When I started YouTube, I struggled bad. I didn't have help. Um, you'd go to the channels and ask for help. You didn't get no help. They would just ignore you or whatnot. So I was just like, well. Huh? I did a last drop. Okay. There we go. Have at it. Welcome. Just dropped in to show support. Appreciate you stopping in showing support. But yeah, that's what it's about. And a lot of people like, um, I mean, I, that's just because I guess what I do, but, uh, I work on like every and anybody needs help with their drone. Just send it. We'll figure it out. We'll work something out. If it's incredible, a lot amount of time, add it into it or whatever. But your hubby has been wanting a drone. If you come to the right spot, we can definitely lead him in the right direction. But um, so like what I'm saying, as far as the knowledge, it's all of us. It's not just me. Um, everyone's like, man, you're just it's not because there's stuff that I get. I'll scratch my head on like, I don't know if I've ever heard of that. But that's the thing of our family will get you the information you need because of everybody that has the knowledge that they, around us. <laughs> Bob's I made like one friend here. That better be me he's talking about, not you, me. The last drop that I not that I pushed the wrong thing. No, I got it. Okay. Didn't change his name. But all everyone new here, appreciate you. Um like I said, uh, I'm into the drones as you can see. I build them. Fly them, crash them, break them, repair them. <laughs> I work on drones for uh, the community, helping out. It's what I like to do. Uh, my channel is about making no money. I don't monetize. I don't do nothing as far as that. Uh, I do have my name right now is MD95TSI, the drone network. The drone network's coming off my name. Um, I'm just going to represent myself on who I am, MD95TSI, and then the Drone Network is just like an added bonus of coming to the channel, just something we hang out. We're going to hang out, you know, do as we always did, do live streams, share things. We're going to be having some giveaways coming up, uh, different things. We're going to try to get things back in action the way it was. We took a hard hit uh, six months ago, I guess, almost uh, say we didn't almost lose everything. We almost got frustrated, just give up on everything. But we held in there for the long haul, and we're going to get it back up to where it was and moving along. Crazy Canuck, welcome. You and Chris don't have this one. Yeah, Joe, uh, I think oh. I, I'm most sure I did the other day. What? John told me to get in line. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's times like I uh I'm finally done driving Chuck. I hear you. Glad you made it safe, brother. And um, it is a lot. I get moving so fast at times. Crystal's like, uh, could I get some time? Maybe I'm like, yes, you can. 
And would go through, I go through troubles with that too at times. That's why I got to put that collar on. You see, guys, you see that. <laughs> you're digging a very, very deep hole that you're going to have to get yourself out of after this last year. Y'all going to have to help me here. <laughs> They're not going to be there. That's your hole. But no, that's the good thing. Yep, never give up. I appreciate that. Have have at it. Um, but yeah, that's what it's about. And now, uh, it's just like a lot going on with me. I'm gonna get back in the click of things. So I had to figure out what direction was the drone network gonna go in. Continue, hold it off for a little bit. See what happens. So glad I want didn't do all that because, like I said, I enjoy having you guys here. I enjoy doing this each week. And without crystal support, I wouldn't be able to do none of it. Y'all would see like a couple videos. Oh, but do good. On, good night, brother. RJ. Two a.m. No, that's. <laughs> that was a that was hilarious, RJ. Tonight when you text me that. Joe, um, just go over to his channel, watch a video. He's got a video out about it, brother. I see banking coming in the near future for you, Chris. <laughs> No spank is Richard. No. But yeah, it's cool. Like I said, I wouldn't. If I just walked away and turned everything off, I would miss you guys so much. Because I, I mean, well, you guys know I, I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> no, he can't. My do phone it. would be. He blown can't up. do it. Okay. No BS. He's threatened it in the past. I think everybody saw it. You know what? I quit. I'm right, done. I'm moving on. But it's uh, like I told him, you can't friend. do that. And he said, why not? I said, Chris, you matter. I said, you help so many people. I said, can you imagine what would happen on the day that you <laughs> just disappeared? I said, your phone is going to blow up. My phone is going to blow up. Come on now. You can't just disappear. Chuck said, not me. And that's um You miss me, Chuck. I don't know about this one, but you'd miss me. So that's what I'm saying, like I'm getting myself in the direction because I also teamed up with Chuck at FPV and Josh and Joe the Ford with the FPV noob tube. So um I have full access to that channel. I'll be doing things over there, doing things here. So it's a lot to get in order to do it, but it's well worth it for the community. And that's what it's all about, because when I first started out, um, it took me a little bit. Uh, I found I bumped into Neil um, drone worship. I always went to his channel. He's just always like. I got this deal. Yeah. You know, and OK, you know, solo I bought from there to ghost drone I bought from there. Uh, stuff like that. Crystal used to forbid me to go on his channel. <laughs> you stay off that drone worships channel because I spend money every time you go over there. I'm like. I knew his voice. I didn't even have to be in the same room when he was playing a video. And at the I time, knew his voice. And at the time, I thought Dan was okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, he, it was like, you know, he was the solo. He did everything with it. It's like, why not buy it, you know? And that was an awesome buy. The ghost room, well, that had its ups and downs, but nothing to do with him. That was just, he hang. <laughs> but now mine flies with a transmitter. I'm actually doing another one for a YouTuber to fly with a transmitter. So that's awesome. So there's going to be two of them out there so far of my creations. But yeah, so I just got to figure out what I know what I want to do. Now I just got to get it a schedule because you definitely need a schedule for what, what I have coming up. You would get lost without a schedule. So, and I think a schedule keeps everything in order as far as that and whatnot. Noob for life. That's right. And we're going to work, you know, you guys that um, don't know, uh, Crystal can drop the link if you want for uh, the FPD Noob too. Drop that link in there. And uh, so it's every other Wednesday. Uh, we're live over there. I didn't make it this past Wednesday. Um, I kicked myself in the ass for that. It's my fault. But um, so every other Wednesday there, and the schedule will come out here, but anyone that's not supporting the FPV Noob Tube channel, please um, show them support. It's just like here, all good family. Um, you can learn things. They do giveaways. No, no, you gotta watch out for that truck there. 
and a truck driver guy over there. You gotta watch out for him. He's kind of. <laughs> no, it's you guys. Most of you guys already know Chuck and know Josh and know Joe. And you guys don't know um, E Drone. Uh, he, he's over there hanging out in the chat a lot. Mike's over there plummet. A lot of them already. Actually, Bob Biker. Um, Chuck, I've talked to you about that, bud. Uh, Bob was actually one of you guys' very first supporters on the NoobTube, believe it or not. And I'll tell you the whole thing on that. Way back in the And day. he is, I would definitely say, a good candidate to have a wrench in your lobby because he does take care of quite a few things quickly. Yeah. But he's been there, dude. Chuck says? He's been there he since said, except we're day one, pretty much. Up in the head. I don't think that's possible. <laughs> well, maybe. You know Bob's legacy? Okay. <laughs> See, Kaz won't let us quit because we mellow, we balance out and mellow them out. So. You and, know, it's, it's the couple thing. And when all the uh, chaos went down, so there was um someone that labeled it. They said, you know what? They said, now, they said, it's no problem. They said, we always be one team. Now there's two teams. Drone Network's the A team, and there's a B team. <laughs> it's like, well, if you want to look at it that way, that's cool. But no, we all have a good time, and that's what it's about. It's not about who can get ahead of someone or what can do this or what can do that? Just come on live stream, have a good time, share your knowledge, whatever you want to talk about. Because it all ends up, it's it's the drone network, but you guys know that we get off key all the time. I think it's solely based around drones, yes, but it's whatever we got into that day or whatever your whole life is based around drones so if your <laughs> lips are moving drone talk is going to come out at some point not all the time i do sleep probably yeah, and dreaming dream of too. drones that's how i learn everything as i'm sleeping i'm just like my brain's like just going through the archives and just figuring everything out <laughs> He said, if I don't have kids, it's good that a legacy, I guess. You got kids. They're, they're just some at first, some don't. But, all right. Um, so, yes, Mike asked about news. She does have some news tonight. It's just on her iPad. I told her that would be better to do in the first place. Have it on your iPad instead of printing out the paper. <laughs> Think about it going green, right? You're going to save paper. <laughs> I hear you, John. Do it. So, Chuck, everything did go through. I was, um, when we were sitting out eating today, I was messing with my phone. I went into YouTube and it said FPV Noob Tube. I was like, or I went to, I said YouTube. Listen, I think I, I, think I said I went to Noob Tube. I went to YouTube and, um, right above my <laughs> name, it said FPV Noob Tube. And I was like, that's weird. It's never been there before. I push it, it just takes me right into the channel, signs me, and everything. I'm like, awesome. Save some trees to dive. Exactly, Mike, right? That perfect, man, right? How can anyone hate us because of that? So she can start reading off the iPad. We're going to save paper so it saves trees for us to dive. You can't beat that. <laughs> you ready? Mm -hmm. But Bob's not getting what Bob wants, so sorry, Bob. What did Bob say about what he wants, though? She does have a dress on. I could put like a dress. I don't think so. On the We've floor. already experienced the wind. And dress. Start, yeah, she walks outside of Denny's, not thinking. Marilyn Monroe moment. Whew, she's like, woo! <laughs> Should have had the camera in my hand. Yeah, if you guys don't have JD Quad yet, go ahead and hit him back up. He uh, he just quit or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, he had some issues and had to restart. Drone Man Productions had to restart. Uh, guys, gotta keep your noses clean. <laughs> oh, Chuck, I will make sure of that because um, 
well, like I said, I used to go on Cap's channel for doing the network and stuff. Trust me. One time, I was signed into Neil's channel. I go into a live stream. Not even thinking, dude. Not even one time thinking. They're like, hey, Cap, how you doing? I was like, damn, Neil's up in here? I was like, oh, shit. I'm on his channel. <laughs> yeah. But that was nothing bad. It was just like, uh oh. But I know what you mean by that. No, I definitely will stay off of it until I'm ready to post something on it, get on it, and sign right back out of it. I can see me now going on there. Whoa, what the hell is this? I'll realize that quick. <laughs> In a brief description, tell you what happened. Nothing happened, dude. There's nothing. It's just. Neil, it's just his time. Watch his video. He tells you. He tells you. Trust me. I would rather let him explain it to you guys than me try to explain it to you. But anyway, it's 9.20. We're about an hour and 20 minutes off on the news, but better late than never, right? Okay. I was born right here. I would doubt that, but I was. Ready? Off. <laughs> like, no. Come on, bud. What are you going to do? I have to go around. News! Hey, hey, guys. All right. So, in drone news tonight, six drones were deployed to find a missing 77 year old man in Florida. We've reported on many stories in which drones were used to find people. However, this one is a first. In Florida, the Collier County Sheriff's Office deployed six. Sorry about that. Take your phone out there. Mm. It's yours. Mine doesn't ring. Deployed six drones to help find a missing 77 year old man. The man, who reportedly suffers from health and mental challenges, was lost for over two hours when the sheriff's office was finally contacted. The CCSO deployed their drone operations unit, who divided the search area into a grid and deployed six drones in search of the missing man. The CCSO obviously knew what they were doing, and the man was found and brought back to safety. What stands out in that story is not just the fact that drones were used on the search, but that the CCSO has a dedicated drone operations unit that methodically executed the search and used multiple drones to find missing person faster. I'm hoping that the story gets picked up by many police and fire departments across the country or world as it is a great example of how drones can be successfully used. According to DGI, this is at least the 228th person around the world who has been rescued with the help of a drone. Drones for good, guys. And in other no news, an extinct flower was rediscovered in Hawaii via a drone. The remote rugged cliff faces of Kalua Valley, Valley on Kauai, Hawaii are, are largely inaccessible to humans. For decades, researchers from Kauai's based National Tropical Botanical Garden, the NTBG for short, Access those cliffs by hiking along treacherous ridge lines and rappelling down vertical cliff faces, scouring each nook and cr cranny for a rare native plant. But now they have a new tool to help them drones. In late January, a drone flight made a startling discovery. Hibiscadalius woody. A relative of hibiscus last seen in 2009 and believed to be extinct was still growing on the cliffside. The species was first discovered in 1991, named in 1995, and deemed extinct in 2016. 
It has vibrant yellow flowers, which shift to a purpleless hue over time. Researchers believe it is pollinated by native birds. And while scientists have tried to use cross-pollination, grafting, and tip clippings to propagate the plant, none of their attempts have been successful. The January drone flight captured one image, which is, to be, is believed to be this rare flower tucked into a corner. In February, they set out on another mission to reconfirm what they saw. Flying a drone to the original GPS coordinates and collecting more images revealing three of these H. Wudai plants on the cliffside. We were hoping to catch it in flower, but it wasn't the flowering at that time. More drones for the good. And in other news, what do drones, a GPS, owe to a 1744 shipwreck? On October 5th of 1744, a storm was brewing in the English Channel. With sails set for home after chasing a French fleet off the coast of Portugal, a squadron of British warships was in trouble. The lead ship, HMS Victory, sank 100 meters to the seabed 50 miles south of Plymouth, taking with it 1,100 men and, so rumor had it, lots of Portuguese gold. The wreckage lay undisturbed until it was located by a marine salvage company in 2009. Beyond the rumored gold, there is something else on board, which was argumentatively, argumentatively much more significant economy. Also lost on that day was the first known attempt to develop an idea that is now used to guide everything from submarines to satellites, from roves on Mars to the phone in your pocket. When the victory went down, it took with it John Sersen's whirling speculum, forerunner to the gyroscope. Searson was a sea captain and barely literate, but he was also an ingenious mechanic. He was trying to solve a serious problem. Sailors worked out a ship's position by using a quadrant to take an angle from the sun to the horizon, but you could not always see the horizon because of the haze or a mist. EBR, welcome, my dear. Inspired by a child's spinning top toy, Searson wondered if he could create an artificial horizon, something that would stay level even as the ship lurched and swayed around it. As the Gentleman's Magazine recounted, he got a kind of top made whose upper surface perpendicular to the axis was a circular plane of polished metal and found, as he had expected, that when this top was briskly set into motion, the plane surface would soon become horizontal. If a whirling plane were disturbed from its horizontal position, it would soon recover it again. After impressing two high-ranking naval officers and an eminent mathematician, Searson was asked to make further observations aboard the HMS Victory, and so perished poor Mr. Searson. His widow was left penniless and asked the Navy for copies of his documents so she could try to make money from the speculum, although there seems to be no evidence that she ever succeeded. However, a century later, French physicist <coughs> would soon produce a successful prototype based on the same principle which had fascinated Searson. It was then discovered he called his device a gyroscope, from the Greek words to turn and to observe, because he used it to study the Earth's rotation. It was a spinning disc mounted in gimbals, a set of pivoted supports that allow the disc to maintain its orientation regardless of how the base might be tilting around. Then electric motors came along, meaning the disc could spin indefinitely. And practical applications came thick and fast. 
Ships got workable artificial horizons, and so did airplanes. In the early 1900s, two inventors then figured out how to align the spin to the Earth's north-south axis, giving us the gyro compass. Combine these instruments with others, accelerometers, magnetometers, and you get a good idea of which way you are and which direction you are heading. Feed these outlets in the systems that are course correct, and you have an aeroplane's autopilot, a ship's gyro stabilizer, and the navigation systems on spacecraft or missiles. Add in GPS, and you know where you are. There is a limit to how small you can make spinning disks and gimbals, but other technological developments have miniaturized the gyroscope. Vibrating micro-electro-mechanical gyroscopes measure only a few cubic millimeters. Researchers are beginning to laser base gyroscope thinner than human hair. As these and other sensors have gotten smaller and cheaper and computers faster and lighter, they have found uses for smartphones to robots, gaming consoles, and virtual reality headsets. And another technology, which is that particular buzz, the drone. The first pilotless flight is often traced to 1849, only three years before the gyroscope. Austria tried to attack Venice by fixing bombs to balloons and waiting for the wind to blow in the right direction. It was not a triumph. Some bombs landed in the Australian territory, but military uses continue to drive drone technology. It is searched for drones in the news archive until about four or five years ago. You would find that the top stories were all about war. Then suddenly they started to be about what aerospace regulations mean for hobbyists and how long were drones going to be before they got to deliver our groceries. That is a big question. Drones are now commonplace for surveying to movie making. They get urgent medical supplies to hard-to-reach places. They find missing people. They do agricultural work. But it is the routine, everyday uses that promise to be truly transformative. Flying our online shopping to us or even flying us. The Chinese company Ehang is pioneering drones that can carry human passengers. In rural China, delivery drones are starting to look like leapfrog technology. One that catches on most quickly where they're not competing established infrastructure. In this case, the big box retail stores and roads for delivery vans. Who knows? It's going to keep on hopping, as they say, frog-like technology. It just keeps advancing. That's the amazing thing with drones. And if you think about it, a lot of us don't use a gyroscope anymore. It's a different ball game, but without that technology being developed back then, where would we be now? Seriously, think about it. Now, who wants to fly on Easter weekend? I'm sure you all do, but I know we're fighting some nasty weather here, some high winds. Some interesting storms on the way. So I don't know if the guys will actually get to fly tomorrow, but they are going to get together. So that's also important. If you can't fly, still hang out and socialize. Yeah, I know. Rain is coming. Helicopter. Welcome, my dear. Good night, homie Paul. Thank you again, babe. Get some Z's, honey. But if you can't fly outdoors, fly inside and don't tell me you can't because even if you have somebody sitting there saying you're not doing that simulators don't hurt anybody they actually help so i'm good to, i'm glad to hear that evr you will fly hella has been busy with life my dear it happens it happens to all of us we get a little tied up and then we come back around. But uh, you can tell him yourself, Hella. Hi. Hella said hi. What's up, Miss y'all. 
And guys, I saw some comments on Neil's channel. Look, I know the FPV thing ain't for everybody, but you guys know I still keep my camera birds. I mean, I will be doing footage of that and stuff like that still. So just to let you guys know, I'm going to mix it in kind of together. That's what the drone network has always been about. Always it doesn't about. matter what kind of drone you're flying. I don't care if you're flying a simulator and not even touching a drone. I don't care if you're flying toy grades like yeah. I do. I don't care if you're flying camera drones, professional camera drones. I don't care if you're FPVing. I don't care if you're flying micros or minis. It's all about a drone. It is. And, I and it doesn't matter to me even if you're not flying a Just drone. Enough. You can still enjoy, enjoy drone footage. Drone footage can take you that. places that you will never get to go. Bob, don't start in on the Hubsons, baby. You you know they they got a special I'm place in my heart over and over John's over heart. Over then you're flying, D Dub. Look at my booty. Look at my booty. No, and and it is it is like um so there is a line that gets drawn there, and people are like, well, I don't like the FPV and all that. Look, I understand that. Hey, and to eat your own, but I feel like if you kind of just give up on a channel because they do that, that's sad in one way. Because I I participate in everything. Look, I can sell all my camera birds and buy mad race drones. I don't want to do that because I love drones in general. I love flying in general. It doesn't matter to me, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, Jim says MJX. I still have, look, how many people have race drones around and still show you MJX bugs? Um, whatever kind of toy grade birds I have out here. I, I Toy grades, camera birds. Race bird, anything that flies, basically. If you can no, it's not even anything that flies. It's not even anything that flies because if you look up here, yeah, really, there's RC cars. RC if car you look there, over here, RC there's RC there. boats. Right. <laughs> Why hate? It is all remote controlled. It is, and that's period. what I like about it. So, why it's not so just love our good. hobby? Period. Oh, yeah, you got the Emacs Buzz. Weird. That thing is nice. Yeah, and that's it. It all, that's right. It all, like, goes together. Like Bob's saying, Drone Network is all RC. And even if you don't do RCs, if you're, like, can just want to come hang out, I mean, that's cool, too, you know. But, yeah, it's beautiful, like, to do whatever. I like doing the... I mean, the FPV is just kind of like what I'm heavy into right now, but I'm going to mix it up. It's just flying the camera birds in the wintertime. It's just like, eh. I saw that last year, my winter, in the winter, to kind of wait a battery's depleted really fast. And, well, I kind of don't want to mess that, mess around with that and drop one out the sky and bust the gimbal all up. You're entitled to whatever you want, drone worship. But I, to me, hate is an extremely strong word. And if you're going to waste your time hating Man. on something when you could be enjoying life instead, that's your choice, babe. I'm not the person to take that away from you. Damn, but there's a whole lot more shit out there in life that you could be enjoying instead of hating on something. Just like Chuck said, I'll never take your hate from you. That's all yours, baby. That's all and yours. I have different <laughs> ones, like, um, like going into the FPV thing, right? I just upset wherever I go because people are like, well, that's a clone frame. That's not a $100 frame. I'm sorry. I won't buy a $100 frame just for that reason. Number one, I really can't afford a $100 frame, and I would rather buy the $35 frame and put the rest of that money of the $100 into my frame, you know, into my quad or whatnot, stuff like that. Just like doing things on the budget kind of thing I like doing. That's what I like bringing to the table, and that's what I, you know, want to bring a lot to the new tube. Right yeah, he needs your number. All right, you're on uh, Facebook, right, Helen? Okay, on uh, Hangouts. So if you're on Hangouts, yeah, we can get together. If you're on Messenger or whatever, I can get with you on that. I won't drop my number in here no more. Okay, you're on there. Same helicopter or? I didn't say you had to stop drone worship. 
I'm, I'm not the one to tell you what to do, baby. You're a grown adult. You but can I'm do whatever you somewhere. want, my dear. I'm just saying there's there's better things that you could be spending your time on. So, so Dan, you're saying about throwing all this in the box right You're here. not throwing at anywhere. And I'm sorry. To, John and I will both attack and you. And sent to you, you wouldn't hate it. No. I, <laughs> John. It's all good, baby. None of those are coming off the wall and going out of this house in a box to anybody. Indigo, okay. now Indigo. you want me to cover up the blinds? I, I told the guys the other night, I'm like, every time he builds I one, know. I'm not sure where he's going to put it this time. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on uh, some more space here. How? It's doable. I don't know how, but... It's doable. And no, I still don't trust you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. More room, more room. I'm going to have to go find another These don't take up sitting. much room to hang. <laughs> you should have to find another room to sit in. I remember when this room was mine. But I love the aspect of all rooms. Um, that's why I have them, pretty much. It's fun to go out and just after flying these guys for a while, then you gotta fly the camera birds, like so relaxing. Tiff, Mrs. RC, welcome. EBR, welcome, brother. No, EBR is leaving. Oh, leaving, okay, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Must jump in when she was doing the news. He did. I have a good one, you. brother. Appreciate you stopping in. God, I still have my husband. Yeah, Bob still has his husband. H Hubston. <laughs> well, get this, Tiff. Hubston. It's, it's Matthew's birthday. It's my birthday. My it's drone. Mars's Give me a birthday. Woody. Mars FPV. And it's Kirk Mayberry's birthday. So all four of us actually all share four. the same birthday. Yay, tore his thumb all up. Yeah, well, Bob put a filet knife through You sent me a box on the vomit in it. <laughs> Damn. I thought you were going to say send it back then after two months. Oh, fillet knife damn near threw it. Ouch. Woo. -hoo. Better not tear them hands up too bad, Bob. You won't be a fly with them. <laughs> He's like, there you go again, the freaking drones. So, yeah, hell, that thing is supposed to hold five or six inch props and hold up the 6S. I could build something like that all day long, no doubt. Probably a lot, probably cheaper than that, also. But man, something about that buzz is just something about the buzz. I do have the um, Emax Hawk 5. And the Baby Hawk R. So I got these two. So I was like, well, probably would be awesome to have the buzz too. <laughs> and the buzz, I think, is going to probably, well... The Hawk 5 is hard to beat. You guys have this one already. You know, I know EBR does. He flies crap out of it. But I'd say the buzz is going to be similar to this on the fly. And this thing is beautiful. I mean, a really nice flyer. I actually used this and I built the Hyperlight Floss. And then um, I didn't touch the tune in this. This still has beta, I think it's got like beta 3.4 or something on it. It's an older beta. I didn't touch none of it, and then I'd go out and fly this. I'd take my floss and go out and fly it. I'd do a little tuning. Eh, it's okay. It's almost there. I'd come back in, tune a little more, take it back out, and I got it now flying smoother than what the Hawk 5. Not now. I remember to meet those words. I had it flying better than what the Hawk 5 does, and this thing flies beautiful. I'm telling you. I didn't think there was no better than this, but when you get to fly it, you feel the characteristics of the floatiness and kind of things like that's what I mean, you know. No oscillations like going there and just turn this thing like this. I mean, real fast and come back and see if you pick up any oscillations and whatnot. Um, when I had the Hyperlight F4 and the Floss, I had that dialed in that was flying a bit smoother than this. So that's a good thing. That's what I like to do. And um, I'll always keep this together. This thing will never 
I'll never rip this apart. They run the Magnum stack, which runs the Omnibus F4, maybe even F3 actually here. Not sure. I think it's F4 though. But really nice one. So I can imagine the buzz, man. It has to be better. Well, fly just the same, if not better. Reaper, what's up? Jeremy in the house. He said, did you build me that holder for my frog? How? Yeah, you have a session on the frog. Your frog is right here. Let me show you. This thing, I forget about this thing because it hangs up here so long. It's been here for so long. This is Joe. I still have, still got to do the LED in it. Just a matter of soldering it in. But this is Joe. Yeah, Joe, yours has this on there. Reaper. Hey, baby. And then I got the um, antennas uh, that go out and come on the arms. About 10 minutes worth work to it. But, yep, this is Drone Man Productions Frog. And I got his Tyrannus out in the living room. Yep. M. Siddhartha, welcome. Yeah, Magnum 2 stack on the bus. 45 amp. Yeah, I think that's uh, 20, 25 amp, maybe. So they did do the Magnum stack on that. Sweet. Um, Nameless Droner, uh, Ricky, he was talking about how they mounted it in there. He liked it. Thought it was pretty cool. What do you say? My wrench finger is itchy. Keep that hand on that hip, Bob. <laughs> he said, did Drone Man Productions ever get his drink in the belly? Joe wants to know if it's coming down in two weeks to school on the Monday. Yeah, he asked me for two weeks. Are we doing anything for him? I don't think so. I'm trying to think two weeks, so not this Wait, one. Day. Hold on. When is April That's when I thought something was coming up. No, that's the end. That's like the 29th of April. Okay. And that's not so. Yeah, Joe, that sounds good. In two weeks. <laughs> yeah, Dan said, no, Dan, I think more more than that was going on on his channel. I don't think he got that bad off where he was deleting his own channel. Reaper can't see the chat. Yeah, Reaper's oh. walking through the plant, so he's listening. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> he can't see chat, but he's listening in. This is another little uh, nice Emacs one. The Baby Hawk R. Three inch flies like a five inch. No joke about that. This thing flies beautifully. Looks like a little ladybug. That's what it reminds you of. He's in my channel just at the eight beers in. <laughs> I'm sorry, so dark though. It was that Gilwell cool Valley. I don't know. Is there a way to translate that or anything? Okay. I didn't know, so I don't know. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you're in Indonesia. I got you. Yeah, I say sorry. I don't have any way of it translating that. Sorry about that. But yeah, hello. I think it much it would kill me to pay two ninety nine for that thing. <laughs> the buzz. I think I may end up with it. I love the frame. Maybe I just get the frame. No, I don't know. I say I just get the frame and just build it, but if. Actually, I could probably do that and come in a lot cheaper depending on what they want for the frame. I use the Diatone Mamba 405 stacks. You guys aren't familiar with them. They're beautiful so far. Knock on wood. I haven't had no issues. Ready to go. 
it will run up the 6s and it costs you uh the mamba 20 by 20 will run you roughly around 30 bucks and then the uh mamba 405 30 by 30 full size will run you roughly around 46 bucks i know you know i would right so i might as well just get it you know it'd be cool right so get the buzz frame the diatone mamba 405 30 by 30 stack with the new eco motors dude i could come in way cheaper under that 299 mark the frame's still going to hold the five or six inch prop correct it's still going to run 6s because it's the 405 mamba which i run in this guy right here and i run 5s on this kid all day long and it runs great I know the purple props don't fit, but they're HQ. Give me a break. <laughs> but no, I love the Diatone Mamba stack so far. Like, I can't. I mean, the price, the performance. I mean, it is right there. Um, What is it? Adam at, with FPV with Adam or something like that. He was having the flip of death on the Mamba 405. I have not been able to get mine to do that. One time I did plug mine in. I say mine, but it wasn't. I put it in uh, Dano's bird also. Uh, I'll be droned. I did plug it in, and it was kind of like at an angle. I set it on a piece of wood. It was kind of like retarded at an angle. I should not even plugged in and tried it. And then so when it went to start, it kind of like spun a prop. So I was like, uh-oh, we might have a problem with this one. But then I unplugged. Made sure it was level, plugged it back in, boom, perfect. So, yep. I'm gonna check into that. That's something might have to do the uh do the old MG MG MD cheap ass roll on that buzz. And then we'll call it buzzed. <laughs> level one, Bob. Welcome, brother. Ah, Friday evening. Off for four. Hello. <laughs> Off for four. There you go. First one has a face. Boom, boom, but yeah. I'm going to check into that. That's got me wondering now. My brain's starting to turn. It's like, <sighs> I did a thing for the Emacs. I was honestly hoping to catch their attention. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> Just for promotional code, maybe. Ain't asking for it for free. Ain't, don't give it for me for free. I'll pay for it. Just let me pay half price or something for it, and I'll do the review on my channel for you. Probably sell five at the least, I think. Maybe. But their motor's always been nice. Um, I got to give that to them. You guys know they ran the Emacs Red Bottoms forever. Everyone runs them. Yeah, that's the wind. I told you Whoa. that storm's bad tonight. That storm is bad tonight. Holy cow. They're just like, boo, 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 the wall. <laughs> Watch the wall go. <laughs> oh, Dan's going to get a good spanking. Who's giving it to him? And are you going to film it? Dan's not getting a spanking. Could you hear that? <laughs> I didn't know if you guys heard that or not, but I was like, whoa, what the hell? Silver Top Flyer, welcome. Appreciate stopping in. Yeah, sometimes. Um, I mean, Alvin, you did good, I think, on that. You did. You did good. I couldn't even get Google to translate what he was saying. So. Yeah, so it was, you did good. Awesome on that, I think. I very talked to Alvin. You know I got things taken care of in the back one. I know, just Bob said he was he was itching me. <laughs> I was it beat you to it, old man. <laughs> no, that's dad. That's why I said old man. Father and son gonna battle it out. <laughs> Huh? J 
Joe, you have to watch. Keep asking for subs in here, please, because YouTube does watch, and they will take action. So please watch doing that. They're tricky about that. Damn young guns. <laughs> you got to be quick, Bob. You know that. <laughs> Hey, Ryan, I know you guys got them wins in Ocean City tonight, don't you? I bet they're howling down there. Regulators, mount up. Boy, is that something that old, huh? Cap actually uh, killed the whole channel on that. Neil, Adam, Zach, welcome. Real. I know. I remember Neil. How you doing, Neil? Thank you for stopping by, brother. Three one night. Look, 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 look. Okay, y'all know how many it times have I hit one. a thousand? She. How many times have I hit a thousand? This week alone, I've hit a thousand twice again. She's not lying either. I'm like, I give up. I don't even care. As long as I have my roots and my family, I don't care. And it's a, uh, you know, it, you begin to wonder, um, because I was at like. 14, 24, 26 or something. I went back to 4, 14, 19. So it's like, I don't know what goes on there, but I think it just bounces around. I'm going to link back in this video. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Neil, uh, Crystal is going to go ahead and link uh, Captain Cook's video in here. Um, I would just rather let you watch the video and explain. Uh, and he'll explain uh, why he's not with the drone network no more. But you're still welcomed here. Like I said, um, we're going to still keep moving on what we do. And uh, please stop over, see his channel, check it out. He's going to be doing different things. Uh, he was big into fishing at one time, so he's thought about getting back into doing that, That which is cool. Was in Milwaukee today. No, you're good, Joe. I just wanted to remind you, Freddie, keep seeing it repetitively, and then every time you have such a Yep, and Dan's absolutely correct about that. I don't even run around and do it no more, to be honest with you. I'll watch um, the ones that come to my channel now. How I'm going to start doing is just clicking their channel that come and, you know, watch and comment or something. And then I'm going to go back to their channels, and then I, I'll go from there on hitting the other channels. That's how I'm going to just, like, like I said, a schedule at this point. It has to be a schedule. I remember when I first started, Dan even told me, he's like, he's like, you need, you're going to get burned out, dude. Like, nah, man, I love doing this. Yeah, you better schedule it now. Because things are getting fast now, but it's still, like I said, fun as hell. Just doing different things and. Yeah, I can't, I can't lie about that neither. The old crew was, we had some good times hanging around, talking shit all night. <laughs> Chuck said he could hear it. That wind going down there. I don't know. It's insane out there. I'm hearing it all over. I think John said there's tornado warnings all up and down the east coast. Uh oh. Well, yeah, well tornado. I mean it was only this week that we had a tornado touchdown seven uh, miles. Well, about ten miles away from us. Well, well Laurel, yeah, no, because Delmar's seven, that's right. Yeah, Delmar's seven, Laurel's right outside. Yeah, of Laurel's right outside of Delmar and that tornado hit, so we don't need that. Yeah, and your dad was just telling me today they've all been denied. Uh, federal emergency funding because they said it wasn't enough damage. That's retarded. That tore her house. Laurel is a very small town. When you demolish about half of it, that's enough damage. <laughs> Chuck knows what's up. Get those drones in a shelter. The shelter is the car because, well, no, it can be picked up and thrown. Well, Damn. look, now they say use a closet or a bathtub. His drone's going to fill the bathtub, Chuck. Where the hell am I, I supposed nope. to go? <laughs> Come on, you guys out the tub, damn it. Come on. You guys get out the tub. We got to put these in there. Oh. 
Yeah, it's what I'm thinking. If these wins are anything like this tomorrow, no, the gates are not going to go up. We played hell the last time with those gates. All right, Jim. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, well, if this person is expendable and Rusty is expendable, he better hang on every quad he's got and pray he doesn't break anything. Shoot, Dan, we could always hold them off, bro. The real deal. Hookers and holy feel. <laughs> I'm not. No, that's I'm one not, thing. No, I'm not even commenting. That's one that's thing. That's just way too easy for what you just said. That's one thing when it comes to that. See, I, at first I kind of thought and had different thoughts, but I don't because when people come to my channel, they, I mean, it speaks for itself. They're just like, yeah, this is definitely the drone network for sure. And that's, I don't know, I just started hanging quads on the wall one day. And next thing I know, now I have, I'm not going to say too many. but <laughs> Sunday, Sunday looks good here too, Mike. Uh, really does. They say tomorrow morning all the bad weather is going to move out here and it's going to get nice by lunchtime. But I don't know. I don't see it happening. It, I hope it happens. Save the two inches first the hose left. Come on, John. You want me to grab from that wall? Man, they have covers on them. Look, they have plastic all over them. They can, they'll survive. Man, these don't have nothing on them. They're just open, bare. We have to hide these. Put these in shelter first. <laughs> I hear you, Mike. Send it. I don't even either, Dan. Couldn't tell you what's going on. Couldn't tell you the direction. Couldn't tell you nothing about it. And that's the best way to be. Look at times. Just switch to. That's the easiest way because, well, it keeps you out of trouble for one, and it keeps your mind from wondering. Just go and see. <laughs> but yeah hopefully like i said ryan's in ocean city he's only 20 about 20 minutes for me so we're gonna get together tomorrow weather permitting we're gonna get together no matter what tomorrow because i have to put his some hall gimbals in his transmitter um i have to put a set of motors on his chameleon ti and i think it was something else he wanted me to fix the Antennas on his Radix, I think. So we got some work to do anyway. Because I'll have to get, well, it's 10 now, so. I'm, depends on how, I'm not going to be up late tonight, so I may not put no batteries on tonight, so I'll get them on tomorrow morning when I get up. I can put them on in the morning, but when I got to work for you. It's already doing the transfer first, John. That's when I'll get up. I'll just put them, start charging tomorrow. I'll wait, or, and I, well, get up and see what the weather is anyway. If the weather is, well, shit, then I know not charge them. I'll charge them tomorrow night. Boat, get that boat in the water. Damn, are you so you're at nine now? Got a thousand more to go. Chris, the quad doctor. You say that, and any other time I'll be like, nah, but actually, I'm turning out to be that way, Mike. And I think it's cool that you guys that send your birds here, you know, that's, it takes a lot of trust for one to send your bird in the mail and then to send it to someone to mess, you know, fly. Come on, we fly these things. You guys see the way I fly mine. I got here and just tear the thing to pieces and hit the ground and all. And that's cool. You guys trust me like, yeah, he'll work on it. He won't got there and rip it. But then when I get it, they're like, fly that damn thing like it's yours. I'm like, you don't want me to do that. <laughs> 
which I never would. Dano made me fly. He's like, come on, fly it. Joe's like, come on, fly my drone, man. You got to fly my drone. You have to push it. Like, you don't want me to do that. Something happens. They're like, I wouldn't be mad. I'm like, I would feel like trash. <laughs> Dr. Klein. <laughs> no, Dan. Be nice. Well, he, he thought said it. And I was the vindictive one. Damn. I say no matter what, I'll be in the TV. Oh, yeah, you never. And I don't want to be like a huge YouTuber with chat just constantly moving. I'd rather stay just like it is now, you know. How many times have you heard me say in the last, I don't know. Like if it's too much to keep up uh, with that. Well, the drone network started in January of 2018. So we're over a year and a half so old hard. now. How many times have you heard me say, Appreciate remember you, your roots, you remember you. where you came from? Joe, and you hit a ghost limb at the high velocities, it just cuts right through the carbon, <laughs> like a hot knife. Now, I'll run her when you come down. You'll see it. I told you I was going to do it, and then every time I say I'm doing it, the wind's terrible and all that. It's going to have to be a smooth day for me to do it for sure. I don't need the wind compensating in that because you want me to run or I'm going to crank the camera angle wide open, and I'm going to run it. <laughs> you mean the flip-flop, Richard? I may just get the antique right here. You know, Helicopter uh, left a comment on that, and he had me go look. He had, he had me curious, and he's right. That thing does fly so much. I don't. I've done a little bit of tune to it. Actually, Richard, talking about that, Mike was telling me um, your your TI just has 3.5.1. He said he didn't do no tuning or nothing on that. I kind of, it flew fine. Um, I don't know if it was the barometer or something, but it's kind of like when I punched up over the tree and I let off the throttle, it would kind of do like this by itself. So I was kind of like, like, whoa, I don't want to crash this thing into a tree. Like, Richard, I put your TI in a tree. That wouldn't be good. But when you get it, Richard, um, actually, I can show you on this because this frame's very similar. Um, just roll it over on your TI, and you'll see where I put that little uh, lost again. RXSR receiver in there, the FR Sky, and the bind button I put, like, right there. Kind of, like, he shrunk it and cut a little spot out for the bind button to make it easier for you. And then on the flip-flop, <laughs> it just does fit the description of flip-flop. It's a beautiful flip-flop. When you ever get tired of flying that, you want to sell it, I'll be your man if you want to look in this, uh, get rid of her. I like it. Just something about that thing catches me. It always has caught my attention, that Shuriken. I don't know what it is. I'm just into that big freaking thing. But um, if you look down in the hole of that one if you remember it was like a little dip switches in there that changed something um i put the receiver like right on top of that i didn't uh, i just put it over top and just ran some hot glue on the corners to kind of make that easier for you too that way you didn't have to take that whole top off the bind up um because the bind button that they had set up you remember for like that uh receiver that wouldn't work now so right little spot right down there right where you your battery pads stay like here you look, in that video, actually, I think I did show you down in that little hole. Try to make it a little easier for you. I do that for every quad that I work on or um, I build. I always try to put the bind button in the perfect place. Um, I have gotten some drones here. I can't even tell you stuff you'd have to go through for the bind button. You have to take off the whole top plate, half the stack, and you got the receiver down inside the, the middle of the stack. It's like, why? But yeah, so I try to do that. That's like a, a bonus that I try to add on everything I work on and do that. Because I know them, and and I know the older you get, it doesn't make it no easier. Them, them bind buttons are a pain in the ass for me. So I can imagine, um, you know, the older you are, trying your eyes trying to see that little damn thing. Everybody burns them off. Um, Actually, if you break it, don't sweat it at all. Because, you know, it's just that little flat. Uh, I wish I had one out here I could show you but I don't right now. So on the XM Plus and stuff, they have that little like bronze kind of connector. All that is is a little piece of copper that kind of does like this. 
So when you push down on the center, it just makes connection. So when you knock off that bind plug, just take you a bare wire, just something like this. This is the easiest way to do this. You don't have to like um, solder anything to it or put solder to it and then try to get your solder back out. You just kind of want to just take some wire like this. Just like, I know normally we twist it together. You want to kind of just brush it out a little bit. Kind of like that. Make it like a little brush with it, right? But that's holding up, showing. All right? And then set that. Make sure you cover. So you'll look down there. You'll see that part that you ripped off uh, by pressing that. Just take this and stick down right down in the center of the hole. And then do your binding process. And it works just the same as pressing down on it. So if you ever mess up the bind plug, this right here can fix it instead of buying a new receiver. And once you bind to it, once you bound, you know, you don't have to worry about it. That's a little trick that I learned. I remember it first. Yeah, John, right? It is. And I've had not just... um. Me, I'm younger, older than me, they just, it's the way they make them. If you kind of take, uh, most people will take like this and put, a, you know, down on it. It just kind of, well, that metal is real hard compared to that kind of little bronze cap or copper cap, whatever it is, and it'll knock it off real easy. Most people use a toothpick. You can use a toothpick, just cut the tip of it off. That way it's not real pointy. And it gives you more of a flatter edge, kind of like that. And it gives you more of a area to press down on the bind button. Appreciate you, Jeremy. But yep. So remember that little tip. I was going to buy a couple of receivers before I'm like, oh, I could get a receiver. And I was just one day playing around. Sure, sure. Oh, it bound. We're good. So it works. Hey, I like John's comment. I remember the first time I ever found the body switch. Oh, that's a tiny little switch. It is. <laughs> Update it with it. Mike said, update it with a bind button. Three quads to data button. Sweet, Mike. Uh, I wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, you do got to work tomorrow. I forgot about yeah. that, don't you? I forgot all about that. Well, guys, I'm probably going to go ahead and end this tonight. I did forget about Crystal having to go to work tomorrow. so Half a day. A half a day every other Saturday so far, right? Yes. It's been about so. You won't have to work weekends every other Saturday. I'm in there for at least four or five hours. I'm like, I give up. That's okay. Paychecks are looking good. Right. That's all that matters. But we appreciate you guys' time. And uh, like I said, there's a schedule that we're going to we're gonna be changing some things around. Um, we'll always be here on Friday. Don't always. Sweat that. Always on Friday. And, uh. We're going to try to adjust the times a little bit because the ones that are like in um, other countries and whatnot, their time is later it's over there. Late so them. we're going to maybe try to move forward. Our time will move back. I say forward, but back an hour or something. See, we can't do it. And Chuck, something we were talking about the other night. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so we got a new schedule coming out for it, and I think it's going to be good. We're going to try to spin it around. Um, it slowed down there a little bit, but I think we can get it back up and moving. Um, I remember the drone network used to be, <laughs> Chris used to have her hands full back there. You guys did great tonight. It was, I was trying to like give the moderator, I'm like, oh, hold on, shit. You don't have to do it that. Just dude, click, 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 click. But uh, not the moderator. No. I wish you could. That would be cool. Oh my God. I can. All I have to do is reach up there and go click, click, click. Fly click, hard, click, fly click, safe. Yeah, yeah. Yep, and uh, we will be on tomorrow. Uh, we'll still do the live stream tomorrow. Um, out the what? No. 
you gotta work at four or you work till twelve, right? Yeah. And depending on how what we go, we might be live for the show or if we're gonna feel or whatever, whatnot. I'm, we'll see just, how it goes. I'm just thinking I get off at twelve, mm -hmm. we gotta go get Ryan. That'd probably Thank be you, Neil. I appreciate you hanging out. So yeah, we can still do four tomorrow. And like I wanna remind you guys again, please stop back by the network. There's no hard feelings that Captain Cook's not here. It's I wish he was here, but I understand at the same time. Check out his channel. Don't forget to uh, stay tuned into him. Anytime he wants a link, he can come on, jump in here. We'll put him in here. Uh, he's welcome to chat whenever he wants to come on in. And yeah, stay flying. Have a good time. I'm going to. <laughs> but no, uh, so tomorrow we'll do something. The schedule will probably change next week. I will do something the first of the week. Uh, I'll do a video. There'll be updates coming. Yeah, updates we'll coming, the and then we'll start next week with it. It just it'll it work it'll work out better. I do believe so. Appreciate you guys. Thank you again for your time. Uh, catch you Bye on the guys. next one. Love you. Love you guys. Thank Thanks, you so guys. much.